Driving around this area, we came across what we think, because of the razor wire up top, is some type of abandoned prison. Um, so we're just now checking it out, so you're gonna check it out with us. First sign here says Deputy Superintendent Parking. But here's a clue. Have an intercom. You go in the gate, they close up behind you, then you go into the yard. It's interesting too, the individual buildings. On call behavioral health parking only. Law enforcement parking only. And this is what you'd call a sally port. That's where you drove into the prison, close the door behind you, and then open the door in. Very interesting that it used to have a sign, so but the sign's not there anymore. Let's drive around. There's a sign there, what does that say? It's weird the street lights are on over there and over there. Now, that water tower up there said Camp Sierra Blanca on the side of it. But it's an interesting camp if it's got bob wire or razor wire on the top. Stop, lock your vehicle and report to the office. Another interesting thing I find, it's mowed. It's newly mowed. <laughs> well, there's a car. I, no, I was gonna say there's a truck down there, but that's just a cab over. All of that is mowed in there, and the side of this road is mowed. It's really weird. Well, even the Cyclone fence looks new. I'm gonna speculate. And Fort Stanton had a women's prison. And I'm wondering if this was actually the women's prison and it wasn't the, the um, women's prison wasn't actually located at the fort which was my impression that the prison was located at the fort itself. But this all, all looks awful lot like a prison and it's right here on the fort property. Or fort Stanton property. Well, that's about it. I'm gonna turn around. has some horse pins. So at this point, I really don't know other than it's a prison of some sort, was. That was probably a warden's house or something. Okay, Kim's looking up some stuff online as we sit here. Um, so, what'd you find out so far? Well, it looks like there was an article in uh, an a Albuquerque journal in 2010 that said Camp Sierra Blanca won't house inmates for now. Um, then there's another entry in 2013 that said that the new facility, which was formerly known as Camp Sierra Blanca, will be the new juvenile center near Redosa. And oh. 
And what year was that? That was 2013. Oh, okay. And then in 2015, they had started calling it Lincoln Pines. This was in the Rio Dosa News. Lincoln Pines Youth Center to close permanently. Oh. So that was in 2015. So that's just been four years ago. Yeah. Um, anyway. Well, there you go. So it was, la Had, lastly, it was a youth center. So I previously stated that this might have been the women's prison that was located at Fort Stanton, but obviously that's not the case. So I guess the women's prison was actually at Fort Stanton. So now we know the rest of the story. It says number of offenders sentenced to state secure facilities is declining, so. That's a good thing, I guess. That means they're having to close it because they're they having, don't a need it anymore. having a decline in you juvenile offender. So, guys, you never know when you're following a road where it'll take you. So, get out there and see what y'all can find. It's fun to find little treasures like this. Of course, this is out in the mountains on the middle of nowhere on a dirt road and it's like what here's a prison 